And like I was watching a, a Trey 24K video when he was talking about the profiteering from um, from cheating, right? So someone in his chat was like, BSG doesn't want to do anything about the cheaters because they're making money um, off of the off of the new account purchases from the bands. And while that's true in isolation, I think it's 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 missing some pretty important. It's it's a it's working off a big assumption, which is that those cheaters then buy another account. It's not necessarily true. We don't know that. Only BSG knows that. Um, and it's also working off of a sort of a. It's working off of an assumption we have no data to back up. So what I by that I mean is like. In my, in my experience, and in my opinion, the amount of players who will never purchase this game because it has a reputation for a cheating problem is far greater than the number of cheaters getting banned and buying new copies. Meaning that they're losing potential sales in a much higher amount, potentially, is my assumption, than they are getting back from banned accounts buying the game again. So I think there is a direct monetary incentive for them to get a handle on the cheating. So strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a ride or die for my dreams on tap. I'm a fly real high, you ain't see me slack. I'm a start how you fall, so you get right back up. This how you get tough. Calluses on my hands so rough, yeah, I call your bluff. About anyway, that's just me. That's my trauma. <laughs> I've never gone straight into the front of the mall like this before. Let's do it. It's ballsy. I know I could have just walked around, but uh, bottom G doesn't make ex doesn't make way for any glass. Okay, the glass makes way for him. Oh, I didn't mark the tanker. I'm an idiot. It's fine. We'll go back. Let's hit up idea, get the thing, go back for the tanker, and come back into the mall. What have we got in here? Full mag of BS. I can make that work. Okay, we're gonna get this document. We're gonna go back outside, go back up to the tanker, mark it, and then. We might extract and then come back. You don't have to do this all in one go. And not having to come back to this area, which is super dangerous, would be nice. Uh, where is it, chat? On one of these tables, right? Oh, it's been a while since I've done this quest. No. Uh, there it is. Okay, we, we still need another GPU and CPU fans and CPU cores, so we check computers. I'll take wires. Wires are good. ESU is good. We're going to need a bunch of them soon. That's great. That's actually great enough that I want to do this. We know we saw a flashlight here. Hey, under the stairs. Where was he? Oh shit, he's behind the stairs there. Give me a right hand peek on this guy. Uh, under the stairs, out the door is where I got the underbarrel. Oh, this one here. Okay, we'll go check it. He's right on the box. Oh, what am I doing? Let's move him around a bit. Chase up with that. I think he's above. Oh, there he is. It's been a while since I played Tarkov. <laughs> that aim? Yep. I had the laser pointed at him and it just kept moving. I don't know, man. A unknown item. I'll take unknown item. What you got for me? Melodonin. Hey, that's a, that's a quest one. Let's get that stashed away. It sells for good money. Nothing else. We can buy the, we can buy the meds now on the flea, so I think that player's coming. I can hear- I heard the faintest little footstep. We're gonna sit here for a second. Very, very meticulously place PS ammunition in the top of this drum magazine. We're gonna head back out. And we're gonna make a- we're gonna make a run for the- for the tanker. Because my dumbass forgot to mark it at the beginning of the raid. There's a- there's a stash to my right there, but it's okay. Did I just see something flash above my head? You have an RPK on interchange, half the map just shut their fans. True, and I just magged up. Ah, psychological warfare, of course. You know that psychological warfare is debatably banned by the Geneva Conventions. Um, 
and it's sort of one of those it's one of those sort of very indirect ones so uh in order to attack something you have to have a legitimate military target right or it, it has to be a legitimate military target now there's very specific criteria for what that is However, one thing that is definitely not a legitimate military target is the mental stability of the civilian population, right? That's why terror attacks are considered war crimes. Um, you can target a lot of things. You can target a tank. You can target uh, a military base. You can target a soldier while he's having a shit. But you cannot target the mental health of a civilian because like all other civilian persons, property, and items, it's protected. Um, what this means in practice is that... Uh, terror attacks, which are designed to like to psychological warfare, like you know, you you drop um, you drop whistling bombs on a city, you target residential complexes. There are other issues with that, but another one, which uh, the justification for it is often, uh, well, we need. Um, oh my God, we actually just finished painkiller. We need to leave. The justification for it is so often. Uh, oh, we we need to destabilize the region to make our as as a military asset or as a legitimate military. Prospect. Sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. Um, and that's not that's not that's not allowed. It's a non-targetable entity. Okay, so this gets two. Well, this gets two quests partially completed, but very importantly, it finishes painkiller, which we've been stuck on for like I don't even know, like ten hours. I haven't. I just haven't. This is literally the first morphine I've seen as a scav, as a PMC, as anything. It's a bit insane. I totally a scav rat. I have a 203 scav to 30 PMC rate. See, that's like, I think that's a really legitimate way to play this game. With the cheaters at the moment, and the way that Tarkov is so player hostile, I think you're encouraged to play in, um, kind of, let's say, unorthodox ways, right? Like, for example, primarily running your scav, even though when the game's, the game's quest system is designed around the PMCs. And let's be honest, the quest system is just there to quit get you into raid. Like, it's nothing special. The story is forgettable. Not that I've ever even bothered... I mean, I've tried to read it once, the very first season of Hardcore. It's forgettable. It's... It's not very well written. It's very contrived. Uh, half the shit that exists in this universe just simply would not happen. Alright, let's make our way out. Scav mains rise. Yep. Well, this is uh, we're very much not scabbing it at the moment. We'll give you a little brief glimpse of our uh, of, of our sweatiness right now. So, for all of you who've just joined us, um, this season or this stream, actually, I think stream eleven and and the stream will be the first ones edited by the new channel editor. He's a really wonderful guy. I've known him for years, and he's gonna be he's gonna be doing it for us starting soon. He's got like no experience really. He's got some experience with YouTube, he's got a YouTube channel, but he hasn't got much experience with the Adobe Suite, so it'll probably take a few extra days for the next episodes of Tarkov to come out while he's learning. But for the most part, it's going to be a huge upgrade. More content and better content. Alright, well let's turn in this, because that's going to open up a bunch of stuff for us. Holy quests! Nope, it's Pharmacist next, never mind. This is the one that opens up a bunch of stuff for us. Well, we have to go to Customs. So that'll do it. This is room... Uh, 114 or 1110? One of the two. I'm not sure which. Do we have the key that we need? That's the real question. 204 is a safe key, so that's nice. 303 is golden swag, which we don't have yet. Yeah, what do we have on customs? Let's, I suppose, start there, right? Pharmacist? This, I'm almost certain this is room... I'm almost certain this is room 114. Almost certain. Oh, and we should turn in the Ragman thing before I forget. Uh, Ragman database. Turn that in. And that's gone. Oh, whoa, whoa, what's our hideout got going on for us? Security's ready to install. Let's do it. Oh, we got the vault door. Very nice. Lavatory can go in. Very cool. Is that level, level 3 lavatory? Nice. Uh, what else can we, uh, what else can we turn on here? Let's have a look. I'm sure there's been a lot waiting on this. Level 3 mechanic for that one. And let's do some, let's do some reps for the day. Hey, Artem. How you doing? How you been? Oop. We're good. We're hitting some. We're hitting a workout here. What am I increasing? Endurance. I'll take it. Oh, dude. Are you seeing this gaming? I'm the best to ever do it. Oh my god. He's actually cracked. This is what no hair does to a motherfucker. Ah! I'm gonna break my arm. Ah! Oh, there it is. Ah! Oh. Okay. Maybe I. Maybe I don't have the frame rate response I thought I did. Wait, let's break our arm. Oh, I didn't break my arm. That would have been funny. Let's 
pause the music. Okay. Nothing but the unknown key. We'll leave that for somebody else who needs it. You're from Star Sector. Okay, cool. Oh, then you're gonna. I think you'll like this game. It's got a similar level of um, difficulty, strategy, action. It's just a first person instead of uh, top down. Like I found that people who like Mountain Blade seem to like Tarkov as well, and people who like Mountain Blade also typically like Star Sector, right? So we're gonna get shot out of nowhere here. I can feel it. 100% we're gonna die. Get down into the low ground. I'm gonna sit in this bush until we've got stamina. Tried talk of a while ago, then my PC died. Oh, rough. You have a wild card today? No. No, I've taken them off. We can put one back on if we reach the donation goal. I'll give, a, I'll give us a wild card. But I've stopped giving them to myself. I think we're past the initial hurdles. And now we just gotta play the challenge as intended. By me, because, or us, because we came up with it. It would be really cool to see someone else do this challenge. I know Pratham, who is a subscriber and channel member here, has been doing one on his own channel. But his viewership is quite small still at the moment, so it hasn't really spread. Uh, it would be really cool to see some to see some more other, some other streamers and other people doing this challenge. Like, they don't even have to credit me, I just want to see how other people approach it, right? Because like with Hardcore, you've got so much other content you can look to. To see how other people approach the same issues. I'd love to see that with uh, Talk of Unlocked. Just something a little bit different, you know? I, I, I will say this. I'm probably going to go back to Hardcore. Uh, if we do another Talk of series ever. Simply because... Come on, hit him. Oh, there we go. Scope's got a... the dot's quite large. Um, I'll say I would go back to Hardcore just because it's more recognizable as a brand, so people come to it more often. And then once the channel's a bit bigger, maybe we try Unlocked again. I am preferring this as a playthrough, though. Or maybe we just call it Hardcore Talk of Unlocked. Blend the two, you know? The Season 2. Maybe that's what I should do, just go back and change it. It'll take five minutes, and it might bring a lot more traffic. Oh, you piece. Fine, I'll do it the old-fashioned way. I killed the sniper scav because we got to get uh, 15 more scav kills. Okay. This is the one with the box? Yeah. Let's loot up. The cards were speaking of chaos and disaster, so get ready to get Rashalid. Oh god, I hope not. So we're gonna go for the, um... Oh, actually, I should take that. We, we're gonna go for the, the quest here. I didn't bring money. Oops, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. I might get enough out of the safes. I doubt it, though. I'm gonna have to get, like, four. I think my bill at the moment might be 4.5. I'm not actually certain. I wish Rashala was here, because we don't have to kill him for the quest, but we do have to get his golden TT for a daily. Storm's 206, huh? I'm pretty thirsty. Hold on. You can get water spawns in here. When, you, when in doubt, use it, you know? Can get water here. Uh, turns out I can't get water here. That's the fine cabinet. That won't have. That won't have. It might have rubles. Okay, let's go see what we can get out of this first. And I didn't bring the G desk key, did I? Nope. Genius level play. I'm not going to put this in there because it's literally worthless. Doctor Lupo's magic veins. This does not look that big, right? Look at the size of this lad. It's huge. It's gigantic. I don't know. I always just thought it was small. I don't know why. There's so many beans, Lupo. How many beans do you need? Is this the fabled Quiet Dawn's Raid? 
I probably shouldn't have said that, huh? Immediately jinxed it. Okay, so 110. I think 114's got the quest item we need. Give me the sauce, come on. Bossy. Bossy. I mean, this is nice, but it's not what we're looking for. Nope. Okay. We're not going to be able to take the car. That's uh, That much is certain. So where are we going? We do have to take Smuggler's Boat, I think. We don't have it. Oh, of course. Oh, no, no. It's Pier Extract on Shoreline that we have to take. There might be 5,000 stack rubles in here, though. Who knows? May get lucky in the jackets as well. Yeah, we'll take a look. Uh, let's go see if the car's even there, right, before we start making plans. I mean, this is these are some pretty good safes. Like, we made a lot of money. It's just not cash. Uh, I've missed a jacket down here. Is it this room? Nope, but there is this guy. Nah, I think we'll just run to ZV-11. We're almost there anyway. Take some PBM. I will take the heading. I think we'll eat that now. Six total statues. Yeah, it's a little bit ridiculous. We can set up a little display. I wish you could place stuff in your hideout. Give me some customizability, you know? I'm a sucker for that kind of thing. Okay, let's go through. Let's go past gas station. Rashala might be there. It's a little scary. Um, but I really just want to get pharmacist done. Because if we get pharmacist done, then we have access to, like, car repair and all the shoreline quests for therapist. It opens up. It's like a big gatekeeper quest. So I'm kind of okay to kind of speed run this a bit. Just head straight for the extract. And maybe we go back to interchange, actually, and finish off those ragman quests. Because getting database done also cleans up a lot of space in the stash. And that's sort of what I'm going for right now. And then we have to go do some factory to get Talk of Shooter Part 3 done. Uh, they've, uh, they've changed it, by the way. I used to think it was, um, you've got to get uh, Survivalist Path Tough Guy, which is the Tremor kills done, to get to the next uh, Jaeger stuff. That's no longer the case. You now have to get Talk of Shooter Part 3 and Friend from the West Part 1 done. Um, which is interesting. So... They've kind of moved it from... Because I think a lot of people just ignore the Taco Shooter quest line previously. I mean, and justifiably so. Like, it's really annoying. Drop that. Drop that. What am I doing? Good question. Not even I know. Why am I doing it this way? Even better question. No clue. Couldn't tell you. I have not heard a single gunshot. Which means that there is a suppressed gamer running around this map. Because I've never been on customs with less than, like, five people with a, with a daylight raid. Although it is the middle of the day on a Friday during load shedding stage six. So the odds of South African gamers actually being online are pretty low. There'll be a lot of Chinese gamers, because they can connect to us now. So the servers are going to be relatively full this way, which I really like. I must say, I'm, I'm really enjoying this change. Like, having a pretty much guarantee that there's always somebody in the raid with you versus the last season of Hardcore where we had, like, one person every third raid and then you just die because you're not used to fighting players has been pretty shitty. Well, that was pretty shitty. This, is, this has been a really nice change. There is a stash somewhere here, but I cannot remember where it is for the life of me. I know there's one by this fence. I mean, I'll risk it. I'll risk it for the loot. Maybe we get, like, a slick or something, right? Always check your stashes. Oh, there it is. There it is. That one's a sneaky one, huh? Absolutely hidden. Okay. This is the raid of statues. Uh, okay. Um, do, uh, you mean like that? Uh-oh. I heard a gamer. I know the sniper scabs do now patrol this ridgeline. I don't want to get Vepa hunted to the head eyes, so we're going to keep moving. Actually, do you know what I'm actually really looking for in those stashes is a Bastion plate. Make it level 8 or level 6 or whatever on the head. Stop that head, top of head nonsense from going down. 
That would be nice. Uh, helmets, you know, it's good. It's good to get. Probably just going to sell it, but it's good to get. Where is the stash? Is it on the other side? It's on the other side. Oh, I hear footsteps to my right. I hear footsteps to my right. It's both Tough Guy and Tarkov Shot through Part 3 for Secure Perimeter. Oh, okay. Sorry. So it's not Friend from the West. It's... Okay. They gotta do both. I feel like the harder of the two is Tarkov Shooter Part 3. So. Although with the number of people just doing Hatchet Boy macro runs these days, it's... Ugh. Tarkov's not in the best state. Let's just put it that way. Pretty quiet so far. Did I think I saw Sniper Scout? Yes, I did. How did that miss? Because I'm shooting sandbags. Well, they're the deadest bags of sand you've ever seen. Was I shooting sandbags? Am I going crazy? You can get some uh, you can get some decent weapon part spawns in this trailer, and there's a Glock spawn in the UN truck ahead of us. Don't need that, but the the PCBs that come out of it are nice. That's money, big money. Money, money, money. It's a rich scavs world. All right, let's get out before we dehydrate. Woo! Stealth scav. You guys, see how I one tap that dude on the road, though? Woo! Stay away from me. You hear? Oh, my dude's so slow. And there's a dehydration. Oh, we might as well do this then. We gotta run. Whoop, there he is. Fuck it. Fuck it, I'm out. The site is a little wobbly for my tastes. Let's get, let's get, uh, let's get what's it called secured. Uh, let's get pharmacist secured. I'm done with you, game. That's even your real name. And if we can do this quickly enough, we might be able to get back in. Ah! We might be able to get back in in time to uh, get back into this raid while it's still light. Because I think we have to do something else in customs after this. We'll have a look now. No one gets to see except me. No! I am the darkness! Oh, it's the BS ever again. Never bet against me being a coward, okay? That's all I'm gonna say to you. Turn that in. Hey, there it is, okay. So, this is on woods. General wears is the Tashankas, that's 10 slots back already. Like That's like 0.5% of our entire stash. Two car batteries, that's uh, 12 slots. Plus a further eight, that's 20 slots back right there. Say slots again, I dare you. Uh, Shoreline markers on the ambulances. This is uh, RBSMP and RBKSM, which we now have half of that. Journal containing residence details. This is on streets. I've done it once, and then this is on lighthouse. Look at holy quests, man. Okay. Uh, let's start here. Let's let's make the wires, and then we're going to work out what we're doing next. Uh uh, you're a hoarder though? I used to be a bit of a hoarder. And then I played like my seventh wipe and I was like, okay, this is... I don't need all this shit. We're pretty far from level three. It's gonna be a minute. Okay, it's gonna be a minute. Oh, we got two CPU cores out of three. One more of those and we got signal part three, which will also give... That's a good chunk of XP there. That's 6,000. Um, I think now, I think we, we got so many partial quests. Let's go finish some. Let's go to interchange. Let's get the other two things and then we'll come back. From that. Let's get this out on a tray. Oh my god. Thank you so much for the it's 35 the Danish Krona. Warmag wildcard? 
consider it done. Consider it done. It's happening right now. Thank you very much for the kind donation, sir. Celebrate the first super chat from Knee Cruncher. Oh my god. He's only gone and done it. By the way, Knee, thank you so much for letting me know about the issues with the, uh, the Streamlabs donation link. I have disabled that. Um, probably in perpetuity. It is better because YouTube doesn't take a cut. But uh, the way I've got it linked up right now is not great. Um, and also, I have seemingly lost access to my PayPal account. I'm in contact with their support for like a month now. And they just will not let me access the funds in there. I used to be able to get to them. Warmageddon. By the way, for those of you watching uh, on the YouTube video afterwards, uh, we are currently buying Warmageddon because... Oh my god, we don't get Warmage. Warmage is level 4 Jaeger. Okay, we're gonna have to just buy it uh, as such then. Give me a uh, hundred and... Give me a hundred and twenty rounds. Warmageddon. And uh, we need to get the big mag. Uh, we're using a wild card because chat meet, meet, met the wild card donation limit for the day, which is $20. But it's, it carried over from the last stream. Where's the big one? I want the really big one. The 100 rounder. There it is. Yeah, one of these. This is how we play the game. Yeah, baby. <laughs> now we're gaming. Okay. Oh, damn, I'm poor. I don't want to be poor. Also, that emote is getting some real mileage. I love to see it. No! My face when? My face when my streamer plays Tarkov instead of Minecraft. I didn't put a light on this gun, chat. We're in danger. But it's okay, because we have 100 rounds of Warmageddon. I need to find a flashlight immediately, though. Okay, give me the good stuff. A balaclava is probably what I define next to the bad stuff in the Tarkov dictionary. I don't see any scabs. Okay, streetlight's nice, though. Pretty high, but the rounder has high jam chance, and the silencer will stop you from mag dumping. Oh, so tr you know what? This is like the worst possible build for this round. You're very correct, because yeah. Okay, so there is there is life. What the hell? They changed the plexiglass. Dude, the game's finally progressing. Are you seeing these updates, chat? Uh, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna stick to the original plan. We could take the car here, but I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna follow plan A, unless we get something really good out of one of these PCs. Or oh, that stash outside. Oh, dude. That that throat infection's still kicking my ass. It's like, it's gotten a lot better. It's almost cleared up. I did the last day of antibiotics today. But it's, um, oh. It's still so painful. Because the skin's damaged, you know? Like, the, the scars are still healing. Yeah, I think we just move fast. I'm a hemoglobin? So true. I'm a hemoglobin. Okay. Hema Goblin has got to make it into the Tarkov lexicon. A rat that hunts other players, the Hema Goblin. Have you ever tried opening your eyes wider, Miles? Um, so I have genuinely very small eyes. If I open my eyes like a normal person, I just look insane. Because I can't do it without raising my eyebrows. My eyes are naturally just down here. Like little tiny baby eyes. Cancer pulls the same trick. That's how metastasis, metastases often happen. Really? I mean, that makes sense, right? Like, the pieces break off and make their way through the bloodstream. Fucking Warmageddon. Get shit on. There we go. Warmageddon for the win, baby. Warmageddon for the win. Seeing as I move as much as a tree, I'll never... Fun fact, trees don't get cancer. Oh, really? 
Whales don't get cancer either, neither do elephants. Or rather, rephrase, they get such huge cancers that their cancers kill other cancers. How insane is that? Like their cancer cures their cancer kind of thing. Hey, that was a that was a PMC, maybe. Thought it might have been a player scout for a second. AS23M is very nice. Don't know why he didn't use that. Why the hell did he use the SKS? Top 10 mysteries, science still can't explain. Whew. Man was gaming. A gingy keychain too. Man, those they're just falling off the tree at this point. So Miles, are you saying that if I don't want to die from cancer, I just need to give myself more cancer? Yeah. Yeah. Kill the cancer with cancer. That was basically the premise of I Am Legend, though. So, uh, maybe just don't turn into, like, vampire zombie while you're at it, though. Okay, because that would be, like, super inconvenient for me personally. Uh, and I would take I would take offense to it. For the fun fact, for the longest time, I thought I Am Legend was a game. Was it ever adapted? It feels like the kind of IP that would do pretty well as a game. Also, my camera looks great today. Not so much me. Look a bit like a disheveled bullsack, but I mean, that's just kind of the standard fare at this point. Okay, warm again and meme run. Successful. I'm now a warm again and enjoyer. I get it. I get it. All right, nice. Hyro land, level 56 USEC. Jesus, man, and he's playing like that. What a gamer. Yeah, he just hit me in the arm. Nowhere else. I'm interested to see what my... Oh, I clicked through the stats, damn it. Can someone go back in the stream of DVRs on and tell me how many times I hit him? Uh, we can... I suppose I'll see that on the recording when I edit... or when Noah edits, but... Noah, go back and freeze frame that. How many times did we manage to hit him? Miles, you look better than I do when you first wake up. I mean, how do you deal with the bed hair because mine goes crazy? <laughs> okay, so my routine, right? Before you go to bed... Coconut oil, massage, massage it into the follicles, all of them, shower net on the head, go to bed, let it seep in there, right? You wake up, hair is already slick, all right? Then what we're going to do, go to the shower, we're going to run our hands through it, okay? We're going to wash out the majority of that oil just by abrasion, all right? We're going to comb it out, we're going to comb it out, hit the day, hair's not moving an inch, don't have to use any synthetic product. Follow me for more uh, natural ancestral lifestyle tips. You have to do gunsmith for ammo box. Got you. Is it the SKS gunsmith? Because if so, then I just need the I just need the silencer, right? So I need a silencer, and optic scope, twenty round or larger mag, ergonomics over thirty five, recoil sum no more than three fifty. So we don't want this. We want the. I know which scope we want. We can maybe we can do this now. Let's edit preset. I know we want the. Where's the OPSKS thingy? Oh, interesting. Can you not put the... Give him a rear butt pad. That'll help. Ergo is definitely high enough. 20 round mag. It's got a suppressor. What am I missing? Is that it? Do we just need to buy the mag? A chase? Uh, I can't buy weapon parts from players, so that's going to have to do... Uh, sorry. Uh, assemble, ignore. What am I missing, chat? You need a norm. You need a scope, and it's a normal SKS, not an OP SKS. Okay, so I need to get the OP SKS. But the normal SKS can take the the mount. It can now. I'm almost certain I've seen it on there. Because like, why wouldn't it be able to, right? They both got the little dovetail slide. This thing, the OP S dovetail. Or maybe it doesn't. Okay, well, let's just buy one of these and swap the parts over. So we're gonna take off. Uh, I have to put that in my inventory, I think. I'm gonna take off this. Take it off as such. Take out the mag. Bootleg ammunition isn't illegal unless its intent is to cause unnecessary harm, chemical, or radioactive ammo. Yeah, and it also, again, you can't use what they call dumb dumb rounds in the Geneva Conventions, which are hollow point bullets. Or or bullets specifically designed to tumble. Because uh, they cause unnecessary suffering is the, the rationale. Uh, as opposed to all the necessary suffering that would otherwise be caused, of course. Never forget that. Uh, sometimes law doesn't make a lot of sense. And by sometimes, I mean always. 
Okay, so now it's the right kind of scope, and now we just need to put a PSO on it, right? So prepper. Uh, give me one of these. Could save 20 grand. Yeah, let's save 20 grand by just using a spark plug. Because we'll, we'll, we will find more of those before it's an issue. Uh, okay, and that can get turned in. Uh, we can take off the EKP. And let's turn that in. Nice, dude. Gunsmith 4. Complete. And that gives us a car battery. Hey. That's awesome. Now we need one more. Okay, Remington Model 870 next. Cool, we can do that. And let's grab this. We've been doing... We've been burning through quests today. This is insane. Hey, there's Dress to Kill. That frees up a lot of room. Very nice. Fuel matter, that's on reserve. Okay. And then database part one. We need to get through that to hand in the gazelles. All right, so let's sell this. Sell that. And, of course, a huge thank you to our channel members and patrons for this month. Couch Potato, The Senate, Kelly Ananas, Call Me Bo 82 Riley David, LCG Canyon Sahar, Knee Cruncher, Old Man Tater, Frickin' Friendly Beaver, Not K Arthur, Cut Beef Go Ham, Jack Smallman, Rivo, Adachi, I'm Alpha, King, Alan Osella Chair, Sella Hair, Gragnar Skull Crew, Raija, Rob, Depoyo44, Pratham Barush, Sleep Deprived Sam, Badass Beast, Charlie Weber, Mermix, Mo Romans, Officer C4, Ooh, Yan the Pan, Cairo, Kili Thaza, Eve Roxanne, Kodiak, Dimitri Liako, CCMD, Wedgie FRG, Lunar Shots, Darky, Hedrick Ebert, Black Omega 9, The Emperor, Dennis Feros, Big Bird 18th, Josh Thompson, Gerd Farista, Mermix 42, and Millennium Dawn. You guys all rock.